Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The distinctive and commanding roar of fighter jets projects strength and power. While some may admire the sights and sounds of fighter aircraft, others find the booming noise overwhelming and rather alarming. But there is one area that quiets the powerful engine. Engineers often need to take a closer look at the engines to inspect and evaluate the aircraft systems. It is tested inside a special facility called the Hush House. In hush houses, engines run at full throttle with afterburners, and the surrounding neighbors would not hear it. This facility consists of buildings that serve as a testing ground for fighter engines that undergo maintenance. These two hangars are the only places where the engines can run at full throttle unlimited. The F-22, amongst the other aircraft, gets tested in this facility. After the F-22 engine is assembled at the CMS Jet Engine Intermediate Maintenance Facility, it is taken to the Hush House to get examined and tested installed or uninstalled on the airplane. Going to max. If the engine is installed, then the aircraft should be restrained by holdback devices to resist the engine thrust. However, if uninstalled, then the engine is fixed on a modular rail cart system or thrust frames. The engine is now in front of the exhaust tunnel, prepared for testing. Three airmen run a pre-test checklist on the F-22 engine. The hangar is inspected for any debris that can get swallowed by the engine. This is very important to the well-being of the engine and the crew. The moment the engine starts running, the air blown is shockingly intense. If any debris is sucked during the process, the blades can get damaged severely. The structure of the hush house is soundproof, so the noise produced during the testing will not disturb those within the vicinity. The F-22 engine runs at in-flight performance levels, and despite the vibration and the noise it makes inside the hangar, no one else can imagine this powerful Pratt & Whitney F-119PW100 turbofan being tested. The immensity of the power as the F-22 afterburning engine comes to life is deafening. Vivid blue flames shoot out from the exhaust into a long black tunnel. The test cell operators operate the engine remotely from a control room, monitoring air pressure, fuel pressure, and oil pressure, among other things, to see if anything is wrong with the engine. High-resolution video cameras are strategically positioned around the area to examine the engine for any problems, like engine leaks. The engine testing takes anywhere between one and a half to two and a half hours.
The F-22 is designed with an emphasis on aerodynamic, stealth, and speed. The powerful engines produce 35,000 pounds of thrust that enables the Raptor to super cruise and maintain supersonic speed. At full throttle, the F-22 can reach a maximum speed of Mach 2.25 The vectoring thrust nozzle, in combination with the powerful thrusts of the two engines, allows the aircraft to climb 62,000 feet and, if needed, perform the unrestricted or zoom climb, where the aircraft is pulled almost vertically to quickly climb up the altitude. Always a crowd pleaser at air shows. Amidst the race to build sixth-gen fighter jets by a host of countries including the US, UK, Russia, and China, two crops of fifth-generation fighters still stand supreme as things stand in terms of modern aerodynamic designs and futuristic features, and, unsurprisingly, both owned by the US Air Force. The F-35 currently ranks as the most sought-after fighter on the planet, but the only reason why the Raptors do not trump the F-35s in sales is basically that the F-22s are not even in the running for a potential sale. But how does the F-35 stack up against the F-22 as a fighter? The F-35 entered the USAF in 2016 with an aim to complement the F-22 program. Even though the F-22 and the F-35 can carry out a lot of the same missions, they are two totally different aircraft. The F-35 was never designed to substitute the F-22. The single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft is capable of both air superiority and strike missions. Three variants of the aircraft were built to cater to the needs of the U.S. Air Force, U.S. Marine Corps, and the U.S. Navy. The F-35A operates from conventional runways and is the most common among other variants. The F-35B is the short takeoff and vertical landing variant and can operate from austere, short field bases and a range of carriers. It is capable of vertical landings using the downward thrust generated by the rotatable swivel nozzle on the engine and the lift fans beneath the cockpit and wings. The F-35C is mainly built for the Navy, where it only operates from carriers. The internal structure of the F-35C is robust to withstand catapult-assisted launches and tailhook-arrested landings from carriers. Though it is often difficult to distinguish between the two aircrafts, as it is only often seen flying across the sky at breakneck speed, it can be easily differentiated by checking the number of engines on each. The capability and agility of the F-22 Raptor are unquestionable. 
since the F-22 production line closed years ago. The U.S. Air Force is now conducting operational tests on existing older versions of the F-22 for new software and weapons to modernize the stealth fighter and expand the range of weapons it can fire in combat service. This monster can only be hushed for a few hours, but it roars like none others once it flies. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.